All right, this is just a short video to show you how you can use your calculator to generate random integers. And to do that, the first thing we want to do is um, basically our calculator is kind of set a little bit like the table B that we looked at in your notes. And, and in that, um, it's, it's kind of an organized list, and you're entering that, that list at any given point. So what we want to do originally is we want to randomly seed where we are in that list so, so that we're all kind of in different places so what I'd like you to do to begin with is go to uh, menu go to probability and then down to random and then you want to select six random seed okay what this does is it, it kind of kind of puts us into the table where where at any particular place so what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to just select a number and here's how I'd like you to do that I'd like you to put in your four digit birthday so for me it would be this okay so month and day and then I'd like you to pick a two-digit favorite number so I'm gonna pick 17 for mine please don't do yours the same as mine make sure yours is a unique number and then just go ahead and enter and all that does is it determines where in the table I'm gonna kinda of enter the and enter uh, to get my numbers Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to be able to generate random integers. So um, we can either type this in or we can go to uh, probability random and then we want to select integer. And what we want to do now is we would like to select um, random numbers between 1 and 30. Okay, so I'm picking numbers between 1 and 30. Now if I hit this just once, it's going to give me one number between 1 and 30. And I can keep hitting enter and it will continue to generate a list of, of digits between 1 and 30. Now if I just want to generate a, a, an actual list of them, okay, and I, I'm just typing it in now, and then I can go 1 to 30, but now let's say that I want 20 of those. Okay, I can do 20 like this and it will generate for me a list of 20 random integers between 1 and 30. Now what you have to be careful with, just like with the table, is there may be some repeats. So for instance, 22 is repeated again here and also here. So in that case you're going to have to get rid of all the repeats and then what you might want to do is you might want to just go ahead and generate again by hitting rand and whoops sorry about that rand int um, 1 comma 30 and just generate the other ones that you might need until you get your total that you're looking for so if you're looking for five values that would work um, if, if you're looking for 20 values you would keep going until you get 20 unique values between 1 and 30. So that's how you can use your TI Inspire CAS or your just TI Inspire to generate a list of random integers.